What's up, Mercs? It's Joe here with some more Skyrim. Last time we made to Solitude, and today we're taking down Vittoria Vici. Now, I did pull back time a little bit using my magical Dragon Lord powers, and this is so that I can get an easier kill on her while she's addressing everyone. So I'm gonna go all the way over here, and... Well, how am I gonna do this? I could use a bow. In fact, I think I will use a bow. Let's go ahead and use the most powerful arrow we have. Let's use... Daedric, of course. And then, I'm going to get my Embrace of Shadows ready. Make myself invisible. And then I'm going to wait until they get up there. And it looks like they're going there right now. So, as soon as they're in position, I will fire my bow and finish this once and for all. Now, hopefully I won't get detected here. It's going to be kind of difficult. I don't want to get detected at all, but uh, we'll see. Let's wait until she starts speaking with everyone before we take our shot. There's the groom, and there she is! Vittoria Vici. Prepare to die, Vittoria. Okay, we did get a bounty for that. Okay, we got a pretty big bounty. We gotta get out of here. I didn't think I was gonna be detected. We gotta move. Looks like... Okay, alright. Everyone's here. Start fighting, we gotta get out of here. Now, unfortunately, we have a bit of a vision problem, but that'll go away relatively fast. I'm gonna go to Vittoria. Hold on. The bro the groom must die, too. The groom must kill, too. I must kill the groom. First, I'll take all our wedding clothes, because that sounds very expensive. Ooh, our house key. Gold. Rings. A wedding band. That looks expensive. Where's the groom? Where is the groom? He must die, too. Hello. Okay, I should really go. I should go. The groom must be killed first. Okay, the groom is dead. Let me go ahead and take everything that he owns. Of course, his iron sword. And his emeralds, amethysts. Alright, we gotta go. Vizier is here to cover our escape. Let's get out of here. Hello, hello. It's okay. I'm not, I'm not a bad person. I mean, right now I can hardly see. God, this vision's horrible. Now, where, where's the exit? I gotta get out of here. Is this the exit out? Yes, this is. Let me go ahead and record in the journal. Let's just keep it moving, keep it moving as fast as possible. Let me get um, some whirlwind sprint going here, just in case I need to get out quickly. You have committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. What say you in your defense? I'd rather die than go to prison. How about I pay you some gold and you look the other way? Alright, alright. Keep your voice down. Don't let me catch you again. Probably should have paid the bounty off for 40 gold, but whatever. I didn't want it to take me to, like, the dungeon or whatever, so let's just get out of here as fast as possible. Hello. Wait. I know no, you don't. No, you really don't. What? No, you don't. Let's go. Let's go. We're leaving Solitude. We're not coming back. We're taking the carriage to Falkreath and informing Astrid of our success. We've done it. Vittoria Vici is dead. Her husband is dead. The Empire is in chaos now. The Emperor will have no choice but to come and control what's going on here. And that's when we'll strike. That's when we'll take down the glorious Empire, or the Emperor of the Empire. And we will be victorious. Hello, goodbye. Mr. Carriage Driver. I can hardly see. It's okay, my vision's coming back, sir. I'll be back very soon. Mr. Carriage Driver, how are you doing? Need a ride? I'd like to hire your carriage. Where do you want to go? I would like to head to Falkreath, my good man. Climb and back and we'll be off. Thank you. I'm what Wait. I know you. <laughs> You're making a mistake. That's no mistake. You're a Can't wanted man. And it's time to pay for your crimes. <sighs> you caught me. I'll pay off my bounty. Good enough. I'll just confiscate any stolen goods you're carrying. Then you're free to go. I'm not... Do I have anything stolen on me? No. Alright, we're out of here. So that's the whole bounty. I guess the 1,000 septum bounty that I have really didn't matter to him. I guess he didn't know about it. Anyway, off to Falkreath we go. By the way, sorry about the cut there. As you heard, my, uh, my little rat dog was barking. And no, I don't, I don't, I don't dislike my dog and call it a rat. It's a chihuahua, okay? Okay? Looks like a little, looks like a little mousy rat. 
but no, no, she's cute. It's okay. I, lo I love my Chihuahua. But yeah, she's she's loud. She's so loud, especially when she sees people outside and she's like, oh, who's that? I'm going to say hey to him over and over. Hey, 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 notice me. Oh, God. Oh, God. There we go. A little bit of a, of a, we got a werewolf. We got werewolf problems. I think that's a werewolf. That sounded like a damn werewolf. A little bit scary. What's up, my good man? All right, let's get over to the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary like we need to go to. Which is in the western direction. I'm stuck on a fence. Ah, oh, cursed fence! The one weakness that the Dragon Lord has is to fences. One day, I will learn how to destroy them. And they will... They will impose me no longer. Impo I think it's oppose. No, impose. No. Well, it's oppose, yeah. But uh, impose might be underused? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. English words, they don't work with me. Even though English is the language I know, apparently I don't know. Maybe I'm just stupid. That has to be the answer. Anyway, to the sanctuary, let's speak with Astrid and get some sort of reward, hopefully. I mean, damn. I mean, well, we did get some wedding stuff, and I'm sure that's worth a lot. Especially, like, on eBay or something. I mean, come on. These are one-of-a-kind items. One-of-a-kind. It's a celebrity's piece. You can't get anywhere else. We gotta get at least a couple thousand septums on eBay on it. Come on. Come on. Astrid? I return home. <laughs> the news is everywhere. Vittoria Vici, the Emperor's cousin, butchered at her own wedding. Well <coughs> done. Husband died too. Let's see his eminence try to ignore this. Yes, the blushing bride now serves Sithis in the void. With Vici's murder, you've started us down a path the Dark Brotherhood hasn't traveled in centuries. The assassination of an emperor. Oh, yeah. And now your reward. A unique spell to Ooh. summon a legend of the Dark Brotherhood. His soul serves us now in death, as his body once did in life. Ooh. Ah, uh, and of course, a bonus for of killing course. Vici while she addressed her guests as instructed. Gold. Simple and pure. Spend it as you will. Now then, time to proceed to the next stage of the plan. Go and speak with Gabriella. She's been helping me arrange your next contract. 1,500 gold and a spectral assassin? 1,500 gold just for killing her while she was addressing the public? Damn. Damn, damn, damn. I appreciate the help, my little birds in the comments. You guys all told me that killing her while she was addressing everyone is... The way to do it to get a significant bonus, and it did grant me that, so I thank you guys. Wait, wait. Oh, stop. Yeah, I don't have it marked. That's what it was. Okay, so summon the spectral assassin. Is this like a once a day thing? Oh, whoa. No, she just stays forever until she's defeated. Oh, it's just right at the Ooh, let's see. Hello, spectral assassin. Greetings! Welcome to the party! Did it say she? Is this a... Lucian. Oh, he. Lucian LeChan. Wait a minute, Lucian? Lucian LeChan? Why do I know that name? Why do I know you from somewhere? You from Oblivion? I don't even know. I know you from somewhere, though. Damn it, I can't remember. Gabriella! Dear brother, I've been waiting for you. Your next contract awaits, as I'm sure Astrid indicated. Indeed she did. What are the details? With the Emperor's arrival in Skyrim now a certainty, his security service, the Penitus Oculatus, will need to begin its preparations immediately. Security is being handled by a Commander Morrow. Astrid and I have devised a plan to break the man, and in doing so, cripple the Emperor's protection. You are to slay the Commander's son, Gaius Morrow, and once he is dead, plant false evidence on his body, implicating him in a plot to kill the Emperor. I understand. Gaius Morrow will die. He is set to Gaius. leave the Penitus Oculatus outpost at Dragonbridge, Dragonbridge and inspect the security of each city in Skyrim. Go there now. Observe Gaius Morrow's departure and follow him. Waylay him in one of the cities and send his soul to Sithis. Once he's dead, plant the incriminating letter Perhaps on his body and let fate take care of the rest. Oh, Prentice and one final thing. Yes. 
To earn your bonus, do not kill Gaius Morrow in Dragonbridge or on the road. Kill him in one of the other major cities he'll be visiting. There, the body will be discovered quickly, as will the letter implicating Gaius Morrow in the plot to assassinate the Emperor. My Do that, and Astrid has authorized me to grant you a rather unique bonus. It is a special token to be given to Olava the Feeble in Whiterun. Olava is an old and dear friend, and a powerful seer. The token entitles you to a reading of your future. It's an opportunity one should not pass what? up. Pray awaits us. <laughs> okay, a little bit of a cut again. Do you know Gaius Morrow's schedule? No, so your best plan is to follow him after he leaves Dragonbridge. However, there is one other option. We know there's an actual written travel schedule somewhere in the Penitus Arculatus outpost. Securing that would what does that sound? be most beneficial. So should I, like, kill everyone in there? Okay. Um, alright. Wait, no, I don't know about Dragonbridge, actually. Tell me about Dragonbridge. It's a small town, with one rather unique feature. It houses Skyrim's only Penitus Oculatus outpost. It was established by Commander Morrow when he first arrived in Skyrim several months ago, when he began preparing for the Emperor's initial visit. Alright, so, we have to go to Dragonbridge once again, into the Penoculus Oculatus outpost. Did I pronounce that right? Probably not. The Penitus Oculatus. Okay. We have to go in there, we need to go to the outpost, we need to get his written schedule, so it's a lot easier for us, and then we need to deal with Gaius Mora. But first things first, I want to go ahead and speak with... Was it Fenzir? Fen... Fen... What? The guy who used to give us contracts here. I want to get some more, see if there's anything uh, I can do for some extra cash, because, you know... Okay. I don't need the extra cash, but I do like killing people, so, uh, yeah, that's my excuse. Hello, Nazir! Still here? What's the matter? Can't handle what I'm throwing your way? Any other contracts, Nazir? Just one right now, actually. Okay. I need you to eliminate an old woman named Agnes, a servant in okay. Fort Greymore. I remember this girl. Why? She's a maid, old and feeble. But with this contract, it's much more a matter of where than who. Your political affairs are your own, but any allegiance you may have in the ongoing war could very well affect your access to Fort Greymore. What? I don't... What? As does my blade. Why am I killing Agnes? Go what? Now. I don't understand. What? Why is a maid... The target. That's so weird. <clears throat> there has to be more to it. She has to have a note or something on her. I do remember seeing Agnes. She's in a bandit outpost near Whiterun, if I remember correctly. She's, like, right next to where the boss was. She was just sitting there, and then we talked to her, I'm pretty sure. And she said, like, please don't hurt me. And they threatened my life or something, like, along those lines. I don't... What? I I'm really confused by this one. Hmm. I don't know. This is odd. We've been, we've cleared for it, Greymore, didn't we? Like, a long time ago? <clears throat> it's like right around, yeah! What the fuck? I'm really, really, really confused with this one. <laughs> Alright, well, nevertheless, let's go ahead and get 17 ready to go so we can head out here. Start heading up north towards Fort Greymore. We'll complete this contract first, as it is easier. And because it's in the way. On the way. So, I'm sorry, I'm just listening to the Spectral Assassin. So I'm guessing... <clears throat> oh yeah, I never thought of it like that. So I guess, yeah, the Penitus Oculatus are the equivalent to the Blades in the past. But the Blades were wiped out. Well, most of them. But, I mean, the Blades are the best, obviously. And this Penitus guy, the our group, I guess is kind of like the new and improved form of the Blades. Although they're not really improved, they're kind of feeble. And we, well, I'm sure they're not feeble, but I'm gonna prove they are because, well... I'm the Dragon Lord, and I can get anyone dead if I really hurt my mind to it, and I will get these people dead. So let's go ahead and get my... 
Ben and Will ready to go so we can get a free ride all the way to Fort Graymoor. Hello, bandits. How are you doing? Not so well, apparently. What do you have on you? You have nothing interesting. Amazing. There we go. The dragon is now mine. Let me get to him before he gets really pissed off from the bandits attacking him. If a dragon gets mad when you bend his will, he will go and fight the bandits over, well, helping you because... He's pissed the fuck- oh my god, that's not a band, that's a master- yeah, there it goes. That's a master necromancer. Unfortunately, we just missed our dragon ride, I probably should have waited until he was closer, that kind of sucks. Let me finish this necro off here. Oh, she's in the guy paralyzed her. Sorry, necromancer, I didn't even notice. You're that insignificant to me that I didn't even notice when I paralyzed you. You worthless bastard. Some gold, glass knife, not really interesting. Mr. Dragon, would you reconsider? I mean, come on, I bended your will. Please land, sir. Sir. <clears throat> Please. Would you reconsider helping me? Yes, maybe. Do you wish to fight? Do you wish to help? I can't tell. He's not attacking. Not yet, at least. Sir, could you land for me? Sir? Right, right here. Come on. Sir. Okay. Well, I don't think this dragon wants to land, and I'm kind of waiting for my bend wheel to come back off cooldown here. It's somewhat of a long cooldown. What the fuck's going on over here? What is that thing? Is that like a grass or a woods giant? It looks like a leshen. What is that? I knew I heard something. An ancient Spriggan patriarch. And the dragon is actually fighting with us. So I don't know why he won't land. I guess I'm going to have to bend his will again. That's okay, though. We're actually using the Daedric arrows, which isn't really the best thing. However, on something called the Bandit Conjurer Chief Lieutenant, I think Daedric arrows. Arios? Yes. Daedric arrows are the best thing. Leave that. Guys! I don't want him to hit me, I don't know how much damage he does. I'm gonna search this guy. Yeah, we got the dragon. Noise, uh, Daedric Arrow. Armored Ascension. While active, all non-hostile actors in a 20 feet radius deal 10% more melee damage and take 10% less melee damage from attacks. Reduce the magic by 25 while active. Interesting. Quickly, quickly. No, you son of a bitch. I knew that was gonna happen. I knew that was gonna happen, you fucking dragon. Shouldn't have killed him, I should have just won for the dragon. Damn it, let's just go. Come on. We're not getting a dragon ride today. That's okay, though. That's okay. Speaking of, there's some Imperial coming up. Hmm. Looks like an Imperial camp. I, I'm guessing. That's what the map says. Alright. <laughs> I finally mounted the dragon thanks to a uh, falling into the void. So let's go over to Fort Greymore and let's, well, confront Agnes. Still don't know why we're going to kill her. I guess when we will talk to her and maybe she'll be like... Oh, you've discovered that I'm a warlord, known for my terrible war atrocities in Elsvire. Or some shit like that. I honestly don't know. Are the bandits back? It looks like, yeah, the bandits have repopulated the area, so we gotta be a little bit careful here. But I'm not 100% sure. Why should we kill I? I mean, I'm gonna do it anyway. I really don't care. Contracts are contracts, and money is money, but it just begs the question, why? Are those bandits, or are those Stormcloak? Those are Stormcloak. Huh. Stormcloak have taken over. Okay. Well, hopefully they don't like Agnes. Hmm. There is, well, one way I could do this without them knowing it's me. But I want to speak with Agnes first. There is one way I can do this and get away with this without the Stormcloaks knowing that I betrayed them. Granted, Ulfric betrayed me, but, uh, even though he's the king of, or, like, the, you know, commander of the Stormcloaks, I wouldn't really call him 
the majority. I'm pretty sure the majority of Stormcloaks do like me, and I do want to keep it that way, even though I can't really help them because of Ulfric, but it's whatever. Agnes, I wish to speak with you. Hello, Agnes. You fighter types are always underfoot. You want me to clean? Then scat! I swear you people are an odd bunch. Please, just step aside that I may return to my duties. Okay. Stalking you prey. Planting false evidence. Destroying an innocent man's reputation. Truly. Storage closet. This will work. All right, excuse me. Okay, let's do it. Let's go ahead and take down this entire fort. As a vampire lord. Next time, because I think I'm going to end today's adventure here. Hope you all enjoyed it, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.